Percent error. Objectives. Calculate percent error. How can we evaluate the accuracy of experimental data? In order to evaluate the accuracy of experimental data, we can compare how close the experimental or measured value is to the true or accepted value by calculating the percent error. The formula is measured value minus accepted value divided by the accepted value multiplied by 100. The values obtained during an experiment is known as the measured values. The value that is considered true is known as the accepted value. The size or the magnitude of the measured minus by the accepted value is used in the calculations. A negative number indicates that a measured value is below the accepted value. Percent error, sample problem one. A student determines the density of zinc to be 7.56 gram per ml. If the accepted density is 7.14 grams per ml, what is the student's percent error? The first step is to identify the formula we need to use, then identify the given. Here the measured value is 7.56 grams per ml and the accepted value is 7.14 grams per ml. Plugging it into our formula, the measured minus by the accepted divided by the accepted multiplied by 100. Here we have our final answer 5.88%. Misconception alert. A common misconception is mixing up the measured and accepted values when identifying the given or when substituting into the formula. Percent error sample problem 2. A student determined experimentally the molarity of KOH, potassium hydroxide, to be 0.95 molar. The actual molarity was 0.83 molar. What is the percent error in the student's experiment? The given the measured value is 0.95 molar, the accepted is 0.83 molar. Substituting into our formula, we have the percent error, 14%. What is percent error? Percent error describes the size of an error compared to the size of the accepted value. Two experiments were conducted and the percent errors were calculated. The difference between the measured and the accepted value in both experiments were the same, 39 kelvins. However, in the first example, the accepted value was very large, 1811 kelvins, compared to the second example, 371 kelvins. Therefore, in the second experiment, the percent error was a lot greater, 10.5% compared to the first experiment, 2.15%.